Hey guys, let's it there, and welcome back to Let's Play Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos right. Bleeds. Start again. What is this dagger now? Hope's dagger. It's some kind of blade constructed from the very first ray of light ever to shine on the earth. It was magically gathered in the 12th century and forged into a blade by Cassandra Rain. I'm sorry. Did you say Rain? Yes, Ethan. Your ancestor. Seems she was a warrior for the powers that be at that time. So what happened? With Cassandra in the first, I mean. They fought. Cassandra hurt the first, but before she could kill it, it took her down. Hope's dagger had changed her, though. She was immortal. Since the first couldn't kill her, it tore apart and scattered the pieces of her body throughout a world of its own creation. This world. So, if we put Humpty Dumpty back together again? Exactly. The first hid the dagger here, just like it did Cassandra's body parts. Her soul is tied to the dagger, so if we can resurrect her, she'll be able to find it. Then not only do we win, but we destroy Big Daddy Evil forever, and Ethan doesn't get Jack. Um, not to burst anyone's bubble, but how do we know where to even begin looking for the scattered remains of a 12th century warrior woman? Evil realm big. Very big. Oh, I already know where to find a piece of her. Well, two, actually. Word in the shadow says Cassandra Rain's eyes are in the morgue at Sunnydale Hospital. So, it looks like we were going over to the hospital then today. So, uh, sorry about that cutscene, but yeah, welcome back to Let's Play Chaos Bleeds. Um, yeah, we're going to the hospital. Uh, this is actually the level where you get to play as uh, Sid a bit. Sid isn't the best character in the game, but oh well. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty cool, because he's kind of a new character. He's a bit different than the others. There are too many demons in here. Sid and I will have to move fast. I don't want to waste time with fights we can avoid. Stay here. Don't move. We'll be back. Okay, Sid does have a health bar. If Sid dies, it's game over. And there's vampires right here, so we're going to want to protect Sid because he's not the best fighter. Um, okay, that vampire like staked itself on a metal tray. I'm going to want to get a steak. Come on, where's the steak? Oh god, he's going after Sid. Come on, where's my steak? Fuck it, holy water. Leave him alone, you bastard. Come on, I need a steak. There's like no steaks around here. Oh my god, there's another one. Wait, I'm going to have to find a steak. Oh, there's one. Oh, Sid's gonna die. He's gonna die. Do you see what I mean? He doesn't even defend himself, and he's like, he's like a demon slayer as well. And he doesn't even defend himself, and there's like no stakes around in this part. It's so annoying. Look, exactly. Fucking protect yourself, Sid. Oh my god, you're so annoying. I always hate, this is like the worst bit of the level, The like straight off the bat. You have to find a stake quick or Sid dies, basically. Thinking of, talk about finding a stake quick. I think as soon as you start, there's like a stake right next to you by a plant. No, there's like that. chairs here though. I've completely forgot about that. Come on, Slayer. Those eyes ain't gonna find themselves. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, I didn't realise there was a stake like right next to me. Oh well. That continue will uh, affect my rating though at the end of this level. Um, we're actually at the end. We're, we're actually uh, halfway through the game now, and uh, this is where the levels get a lot longer, and this is where um, the game kind of gets good. Um, oh god! Yeah, this is where the game gets good. Um, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is where the game is like awesome and uh oh my fucking god right sorry um 
Yeah, so this is where the game story starts to progress. And as you, you said, we have to find... Grr. No go. We'll have to find another way. Wait, boost me up there. I'll have a look on the other side. Hey, hey, easy on the merchandise, sister. I bruise easy, you know. <clears throat> So now we get to play as Sid, Joy. He's the worst character ever. I say that about all the characters in this game though. But he's really, really crap at fighting. He really is crap because he's just so slow. Um, oh god, zombies. Um, I normally do that run and punch thing or just continuously punch them like this. But nothing he really does is like very, very good. Um, so, especially with like two vampires, you kind of have to run away, run it back at them, and then hope for that little thingy. Come on, stake them. Okay. I love how he like has to jump up though to get them. That's hilarious. Right. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we need uh, parts of di different parts of Cassandra's body. Um, we're here in the morgue for the. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my no! No, Sid, get off! You need to get owned. We're here in the morgue right now to get her eyes. Um, we have to get two arms, two legs, and a torso, and obviously her eyes. And uh, yeah, you'll see what happens after that. But that's we're like halfway through the game, so the rest of the game, except the last level, will be finding her body and stuff. So yeah, the locations are really good in this game. I do like the I do like the locations, um, and the levels are really really fun as well. Okay, yeah, Buffy can get through now. Thank God for that. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do we have to go over here next to him? Yeah, I have to kick that nice down. Work, Sid. For a puppet. Hey, I'm the ordinary puppet. Now why don't you get us out of here? Behave. Some kids have a blankie as a comfort object. Buffy has a Okay, there we go. Uh open? Oh, it's all Mac doors, okay. I think Spike I'm um, not Spike, sorry, I think Sid goes off now. Yeah, there it goes. I'll check in here. You take a look through the offices. I don't know why, but this, the people who like make this game make Sid look really mysterious, like he's up to something, but he really isn't. I don't know why that happens, but they just make him look like that. Kind of strange. Um, is there a yeah, ladder over here? Oh, demon. There's like a few different types of demons as well in this level. Oh no, not this room. I hate this room. Come on. There's so many vampires in this room. You really have to finish them off quickly before they get a bit too many, and then you'll just get owned. Sorry, I'm not talking, I was just trying to concentrate on fighting and not get myself. Well, not kill myself. Ah, come on. Buffy, come on. Bitch, boy. Okay. Never should have come into my town. You see what I mean by so many in here? There's like loads. I don't even know where they all come from. Okay, and this bitch drops a key card. That's why you need to kill them all. So now we can continue. Um, yeah, I kind of like the hospital. It's kind of a long level though. Um, I think it's about 40 minutes long. Um, like I said, the levels are going to get very, very long. The longest level is probably the high school, uh, just because it's so confusing. I can't see the buttons again. Where, okay, here. Yeah, this high school is probably the longest because it's just so confusing. Um, but I'll, what I'll probably do is, I haven't played through any of these levels beforehand, but for the high school, I will probably actually play through it. Um, so I know exactly what I'm doing. 
so I'm not wandering around for ages, getting my ass kicked, um, like I am now, and uh, just getting lost. It's, it'll just be a shitty video if I don't test it, run it through. Oh god. Oh my god, how the hell did he do that? Yeah, um, the high school has, the high school, the high school is probably the most annoying this level, um, just because there's like so many rooms to check, oh my god, why is, ew, I'm not going out there, that's kind of creepy actually, um, yeah, there's just so many rooms to check in the high school, so that's probably why it's the most confusing level. My favourite level from here till the end of the game is probably, apparently not the way. Uh, oh, aced. Um, I'm trying to think of the levels. Um, sorry, I'm totally thinking here. What are the levels? I can't remember. Um. Oh. You hit like a. I'm sorry. I'm just completely getting a blank now. Not gonna happen. What's my favourite level? I don't know. I probably like them all actually. Wait, no, my favourite level from here until now is the old quarry because we get to play as Faith. And it's quite a good uh, level actually. Pretty cute for a slayer. Yeah, so the old quarry is a good level. Um, I think that's actually the next level. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it is the next level. So yeah, that's you will, you'll be seeing that pretty soon actually. Um, so, oh dear. That kind of scared me then. Uh, let's go out here. Cutscene. Actually, no, it just shows us that we can shimmy along the edge. This reminds me of Angel of Darkness so much. Come on, Lara. Lara, I mean Buffy. Buffy, come on. Yeah, we can shimmy across this. And <laughs> doesn't it look like Angel of Darkness? It really just does. It just reminds me so much of Angel of Darkness. You could just imagine the blue bar there being like her grip meter and stuff. Oh, bless Lara, I love her. Come on, drop. Buff, Buffy. Oh, there we go. And we have to climb in through this window up here. Oh. Ah, yeah. You have to, like, hit that fire alarm thing to open the door, or it'd just be, like, locked, and you'll be like, what do I do? But, you just get rid of him. Yeah, even that, like, that... It you it just looks like a part of the scenery, but you would never ever like think that you'd have to hit that button to open the door. You just would never think it, because it just looks like a part of the scenery. Like it doesn't look. In it's just this game. I think it kind of expects too much from the player, because um, it's a very difficult game actually. If you don't know the hell, if you don't know what you're doing, um, but yeah, I think it does expect a bit too much from the player. But it's a good challenging game if you want to play it. It's really good. I do enjoy it. Ooh, the water soaker. I'll use that. Come on. Here we go. This guy's like had his hand ripped off, so we're just gonna oh, casually pick it up, as I always. Wanna know what happened here. Yeah, this this game is probably really cheap on Amazon or something right now, but if you have the money and if you have a GameCube little pigs, little pigs. or um, a GameCube or a PlayStation 2. Def oh. Evening, miss. I would definitely suggest buying it because it's such a good buy and it's such a good game. Uh. Yeah, definitely worth Next getting it. Trust me. I've had this. I had it. Well, this game actually wasn't mine originally. Um, it was actually yeah, a friend of mine, that. and I just constantly borrowed it because I could never finish it. But then when I realised it was on GameCube, I just like had to buy it, seriously. Because it's just such a good game. I actually really want to play the original Buffy game on the Xbox, on the original Xbox. But unfortunately, it's for the original Xbox only. So I may actually have to look up a Let's Play for that one. Which is kind of sad, because I want to play it, because it looks really good. Oh, bitch, you're going down, girl. Stabbed. Okay, there's arrows there, but where's my crossbow? What the fuck? Why would you give me arrows or no crossbow? That's just weird. Oh! Ah! Get off me, you psychopathic demon human thingy with knives. 
Did that demon like kill its friend? That was pretty funny. Okay, is there anything over here? No, of course not. I'm guess no, that'll be locked, I tell you that for a fact. That'll be locked as well. And we're forced to go to the elevator shaft at the end. But it's broken. Ah. Uh we have to like see you wouldn't realise that either. You have to like destroy these things here. Wait, no, you have to go over this side and destroy this one. See, I wouldn't realize I wouldn't have realised that. So I don't know. Is it just me just being really, really dumb, or is this game kind of challenging? You're the one who disappeared. Come here. That's kinky. Ew. Yeah. Sid makes so sex so many sexual noises. So does uh, Willow actually. Willow's noises are kind of scary. And you know, mortal wounds. Come on, Sid. This is the only way out. And no offense to your hips, babe, but you're not gonna fit. Better give me a boost up there, and Sid'll save the day. Okay. Here we go again. Come on. <sighs> right, okay. I actually hate being sick. He's so annoying. I try and avoid, um, fights while doing Sid, well, sorry, while playing Sid, um, because he's just such a bad fighter. I don't even know how he's a demon slayer because he's so shit at fighting, but yeah, oh well. Nope. I know there's like a big hammer somewhere and he can use the hammer and that's actually really good because it can deal a lot of damage. Is this it? Yay, the hammer. A hammer. Someone's gonna get nailed, and I don't mean it in a good way. Uh, See, this is really good. We can just whack the hell out of the zombies now. Okay, Sid is good, <laughs> but only with the hammer. <laughs> with a stake, he's so crap. Now, yeah, the hammer allows you to knock down this door. Can you imagine playing a Sid for like the whole game? That'd be awful. It really would be. The event Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the okay. adventures of Sid. Oh god. That'd be really bad. Um is there anything in there? No, there wasn't. That was a pointless room. Yeah. Uh anything Ah, okay, there's two rooms here. Right, this zombie needs to actually go die again for like the tenth time. <sighs> okay. I think there's something in here because it was locked from outside. No. No, there's nothing in here. I actually hate pointless rooms in this game, but there's just so many of them. Anything in here? Yes. Gas canister. And, what the hell does that mean, anyway? and yeah, it's, the, it's not out of sync. I knew that was a gas canister. Oh, are they following me? No, wait. Are they going to follow me? No, they're not. Wee! Fire! Yay! Boom! <laughs> That's actually a pretty good puzzle because, once again, I wouldn't have thought of that. And this is probably where the game gets harder, like with all the uh, puzzles and stuff and challenges. Yeah, I definitely think this is where it gets harder. Oh, vampire! Aww, ain't you the cutest thing? <laughs> Who's owning your ass, lol? Um, okay, we're gonna wait till Buffy can do that because she has like the hand. Okay, there we go. Nice work, Sid. Hey, wait. Where are you going? Sid, give Buffy the hammer. I found a shortcut. See you in the morgue. He's not a very good partner. He just keeps on running off everywhere. I don't like him. Okay, we don't need to watch that. We're just unlocking the door. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Anything at all? Oh, vampires, that's what's down here. 
girl vampires. I actually like the female vampires because they just have so many stupid, like, little catchphrases. Bitch, die. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, I love combat in this game. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that black line when there was like blood dripping then. A bit creepy. Oh dear, we have to defend Sid again. I'll be able to use these hospital records to figure out where Cassandra's eyes are stored. I'll find them. Watch my back. Mm. Creed looks, Sid looks really creepy. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Oh dear. Buffy's got some moves. I don't even know how I'm doing this. I'm just doing it. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm hitting Sid. Die. Thank you. Is that it? They, oh, yeah, that's all of them. That was fun. They're in that jar over there. Grab them. Oh yeah, there's like a jar full of eyes. How the hell do we even know which ones are um, Cassandra's? They're just like, yeah, for. all of them eyes are her. She was like, she had like 20 million eyes, did she? Apparently so. Oh wow, Sid. Did he just like flip that vampire over? I don't think so. I think the vampire jumped back, actually. There you go. So I'll give you a hand, you useless piece of shit. Is that the end of the... Yay, end of level. Have a look. Ew, they look disgusting. Getting any mojo vibes, Will? They kind of look like them, like, I don't know. jelly like eye I sweets that you, that you can get. Should be simple. Or like an eyeball gobstopper or something. Know. Anyone else have any ideas? Should have just sent the southern puppet. Wait a minute. We're all here for a reason. Well, the rest of us are here because Ethan picked us. And Sid just wants to get away from the first. But what about Ethan? Maybe this is why he's here. Don't look at me. You're trying to keep me from getting the power I've worked for all these years. You want me to help? You're all daft. No, I think Xander's right. She's your ancestor, Ethan. You've got to take the eyes. Ew, they're so disgusting. Ooh, portal. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, creepy demon. You are a fool, Slayer. Did you truly think that you could do such a thing in this place without me knowing your every move? You know, for a being that likes a good wager, you seem awful eager to disrupt the contest before it's over. Little matchstick man, do not try my patience. You are not even a part of this contest. The only reason I do not destroy you is that I am savoring the nurturing of hope in your heart, just as I will enjoy bearing witness to the destruction of that hope. Now, Slayer, it is time for the contest to begin. Ready? Can I go home now? Let's go. Just me and you, buddy. And I just <laughs> Ethan's just standing there with these eyes in his hand. He looks so awkward. So that was, uh, wow, 14 minutes. That was quick. So that was uh, Sado Hospital, and I don't know what level's next. Hmm. Let's save and find out what level's next. I think it's the old quarry. find out what level's next. Yeah, I'm actually making an effort to find out what level is, what the other level is.